Hi there. My name is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to find the perimeter of a parallelogram using its diagonals. So here we have some parallelogram and we are told the lengths of its diagonals d1 and d2. And what we ideally want is some formula that will tell us the perimeter of the parallelogram using only d1 and d2. But the answer, of course, does not exist. There is no formula because the lengths of the two diagonals do not uniquely determine the shape. And in fact, it's not too difficult to demonstrate why that's the case. Say we have, this is diagonal one. Here's the center of some hypothetical shape. Here we have diagonal two, where this is one angle. But here's diagonal two again. While this drawing may not be exactly to scale, let's assume that these are the same lengths. This is a different angle. Now, if you were to draw a parallelogram that connected these corners and a parallelogram that connected these four corners, you would find that they would have very different perimeters. And also, they would have very different areas. Simply put, this is not enough information to determine the perimeter or the area of a parallelogram. You would need to know, for example, some of the interior angles or the measures of one of the other sides. But just that alone is not enough. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how it's impossible to determine the perimeter of a parallelogram using its diagonals.